now let's find out that what will be the values of this dynamical variable d when i measure this d on an arbitrary state psi what does that mean psi is a kind of a general state you can think about psi is a linear combination is a mixture of so many states suppose psi has is psi psi is a mixture of five states psi 1 psi 2 psi 3 psi 4 psi 5 it may so happen that psi 3 or maybe psi 1 is eigen state of this dynamical variable d and it may also happen that uh, psi 1 psi 2 psi 3 psi 4 psi 5 none of them is eigen state of this variable d then what we get then so for this general kind of state arbitrary state psi which is not an eigen state of this dynamical variable d measurement will not give us any unique answer in quantum mechanics suppose i am measuring d on this state i won't get just one and only answer i'll get so many answers suppose i get so many answers like d1 d2 d3 up to dn so we need to take the average value of all these uh, d1 d2 d3 dn etc so basically measurement of d in quantum mechanics we need to operate this dynamical variable on this arbitrary state psi and that will give me d1 d2 d3 d4 up to dn so many values are there and we need to take average of this all these d values now suppose i get after measurement i observe that uh, i am getting d1 n1 times d2 n2 times d3 and 3 times di and i times for example in one may be one in two may be one it's okay then but it may not be one also suppose i get d1 two times suppose i get d3 seven times or uh, suppose i get di two times so then i need to make the average like this suppose i have performed total n number of measurements so if i make a summation of n1 n2 up to n i then i will get the total number of measurements i have done to get the value of the dynamical variable d so this is my equation a now the total number of measurement is definitely the summation of n1 n2 n3 up to ni so there, there is a summation sign here now if uh, i want to take the average value of this dynamical variable d then i am getting d1 n1 times i am getting d2 n2 times d3 n3 times so i need to actually make an average of all these products d1 n1 it is d1 n1 plus d2 n2 plus d3 n3 plus d4 n4 up to uh, d n n n or up to d i n i or up to d k n k where uh, k is equal to n or k maybe may take any value like 1 uh, 10 or maybe 11 or maybe uh, 57 anything so that is the notion of average so i am basically summing over all the values i am getting and divide by total number of measurements capital n as capital n does not have k dependence so we can easily insert it within this bracket and write it as small n k by capital n summation at the outside we define small n k by capital n as the pk and this pk is the probability of finding the particular eigenvalue dk now if pk is the probability then summation of all the pks will give me 100 percent that is equal to 1 let's check it whether it comes to 1 or not suppose this is the definition of pk and uh, in place of sum over k n k n is the number of uh, repetitions so if we sum of all the 
repetitions we will get the total number of measurement that is equal to capital N so sum over PK is give me 1 summation of all the probabilities will give me 100 percent and this PK value lies within 0 and 1 this is minimum value 0 either we won't get DK at all or we get definitely DK or there may be a 15 percent 50 percent chance of getting DK if you make a measurement now uh, let's discuss about the expectation value we are talking about average values because we have a lot of measurement procedures and each measurement procedure will give me one particular eigenvalue so expectation value or the average value gives me I mean this is uh, the axiom this is the uh, starting point of any argument we define the expectation value like this or in terms of probability we can define the uh, expectation value like sum over k p k d k either we can define the expectation value like this or maybe like this now let's have a look that what is the significance of this expectation value what does that mean for variables for example if we are going to measure the expectation value of position variable position is a dynamical variable as it changes with time one thing I would like to say that uh, position is a continuous variable because if we put along the x-axis at x equal to 1 and at x equal to 2 two points at one at x equal to 1 and other at x equal to 2 then there are infinite number of points between x equal to 1 and x equal to 2 so position x is a continuous variable and as these wave functions are normalized that is their length is 1 so psi psi is equal to 1 and this expectation value will take a form of integration and this is how they look because this is expectation value of the position this is psi star x psi is itself varying with position and time and this is the dynamical variable position itself integration is done from minus infinity to plus infinity that is we are covering the entire space now what is the meaning of this expectation value or what is the meaning of this integration if we consider position this actually uh, does not mean that we are going to measure the position of a particle at a particular state uh, shy because whenever we are going to measure the position at this state my measurement will change the state so the state is no longer shy so if we make subsequent quick measurements on that state basically the subsequent measurements will give us wave function which will collapse to the first one so that will not do we rather make a collection of particles all are in the same state shy and then measure the positions of all of them then find the expectation value or the average value x this collection of particles in quantum mechanics is called ensemble of particles suppose I have five particles this is finite because x equal to 5 is a finite quantity I mean n equal to 5 is a finite number this is my center and suppose with this ruler I am going to measure the position of all these particles now expectation value means I am going to measure the position of each particles which are at the same state shy and they are all identically prepared and then we take the average value of that repeated measurements repeated measurements on this ensemble of particles which are identically prepared this does not mean that I am taking 
the average of the repeated measurement on this particle only we need to uh, do our measurements on the entire collection and then we need to take the average value 